So hi everyone, it's Shaggy and Lily and Blake and Tori and Mom and Daisy, wait, and Pippa and Daisy. <laughs> so we're in the car right now going to Pet Supplies Plus because we're, we need to buy collars and leashes or collars because we are going on a walk. Oh my oh God. God. Come here, baby. So we had to leave our house because someone is coming to look at our house to buy it, so we all have to leave. So our house isn't officially going on the market for a couple more weeks, but we have a friend who's a realtor who wanted to show our house to one of her clients, so we agreed. Um, yeah, so it worked out kind of nice because we had the cleaning people come today, so the house was nice and clean. So we filmed a home tour for you guys, which we'll probably post, I don't know, in the next couple days or something, because a lot of you guys were like, do a home tour before you move. And then we'll probably do another one, not really like a tour, but we'll film like when we're packing and moving and all the rooms are empty, because that'll be like a cool memory. What in the world? I know all of a sudden it beeps saying doors open. So yeah, hopefully though, once our house is officially on the market, it sells quickly because keeping the house clean and then leaving with all the kids and the dogs like this is not going to be fun all the time. So Ken stayed back at the house because like I said, we're not officially, our house is not for sale yet. He's kind of just showing it as a favor or whatever. So, so now yeah, we're going to the pet store. All right, so Pippa, Pippa's the princess. She's the only one that got a new collar and leash. No, Pippa did. Daisy's not getting anything new. All right, ready guys? We got leashes. Everyone's got a new collar except Daisy. <laughs> ready girls and boy? Whoops. We gotta stay on for about an hour. How long? When are we gonna get home? Uh, about 5:45. Stay longer. Turn off the child box. Get in there. We're twirling. No. Hit that block. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, so we're at the park now. There's me. There's my shadow. There's Shaggy. And we have Tori and the girls. You guys like it here? Huh? So the kids are over there enjoying the uh, playland. Shaggy was crying because he wants to go over there. <laughs> Can you guys hear Shaggy crying? He's such a baby. Shaky. They're fine. Sit down. So we got Tori this pup cup. Cause she's so spoiled. Look at her. Oh no, it's because she's bomb. injured. Get the bone. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't even want the bone. She just wants the ice cream. She doesn't want that. Oh, yes, she does. Okay, now you can just flick that all day. That's a lot of ice cream. She would get a belly ache if she ate all that. No, she's doing she's it. Going to. It's helpful if they give us a spoon. Oh, she's got hands now? Oh God, is all the annoying people here? <laughs> Those are different people from our school. More annoying ones? It's always the weird people. That's yeah, I weird. know. <laughs> they all showed up at the same time. All right, guys, so I'm in my room right now, and today has been a super bad day for me because first off, my day started like this. So... Actually, something good happened today. I got a 13 out of 13 on my quiz, which is good. And it's a science quiz, which I usually don't do very good on because I'm not good at science. And then another thing is we had extra credit points that we could do, which was f worth five points. And I got five out of five. So that means I got 18 out of 13 on my quiz, which means 
and like my grading system I should have like over a hundred percent okay so my mom threw all of my slime away and another bad thing that happened today is Chase got a penalty haul two of them actually which is like a detention because during his like state testing or whatever his phone fell out of his pocket <sighs> So today has not been a good day for us, but still strive through it. Oh, she hung up on me, and it's all your fault. Ten more Wanna seconds. Go Fine, then go to bed. Okay, she's going to bed. Bye, Molly. Okay, well, um, so that's it for today's video. Bye. That's it for today. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up this video. And the question of the day is, what is the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Mine is probably broken my foot. Or getting all my slime thrown away. Mother, so mad at her. I didn't even want to film this, okay? You know, because I'm so mad at her, so why would I film for her? I don't know, but thought I would show you guys my anger with her right now. So bye, and I'm not even gonna bring this camera down to her because I'm that mad. Bye. So, Chase, are your dad and I mean parents? Dad is. Why? He's mean. What happened today? My phone fell out of my pocket during testing. <laughs> so let me ask you a question. So Chase said M-step testing today, which is what, standardized testing? Mm -hmm. And what did they say at the beginning of the standardized testing in the front of the classroom? They said to have your phones off. Okay. And they also said... And it was off. They said, a lot of the teachers said don't have them, but some of them said they didn't care. What did your teacher say, though? I don't know what this teacher said. She just said So oh. you, you chose not to listen? Yep, I guess. Because what we were told when we received the call from the principal today was that all students were told to keep their phones in their lockers. They were not allowed to have them in their pockets, in their backpacks, anywhere. Is that what you heard? Yep. So you admit that you heard, do not have it in your pocket. Yep. So, in the middle of testing, what happens to Chase? Oop. <laughs> How did it fall out of your pocket? I was like this, because I had two chairs. I was like laying down, kind of, mm -hmm. and I have a computer right here, and I just fell on my pocket. In the middle, it's like as if a pencil were to fall on the floor because it was shut off. Okay, so right away, what happened? She picked it up. What did she say? Go to the office. Yep. Were you crying? No, I wasn't. Even, I don't even care. Did you at least apologize to the principal? Yes. And then what happened? Then I got to finish my test in the media center. It's not like it really matters anyway. Just and, and then what was your punishment? Two penalty halls for four hours. A piece? Yeah. Oh. Eight hours of my life I'll never get back. Oh my god. I don't even care. Because so Darren's doing it too. You just sit there and do nothing. You can talk too. Yeah, but you're not supposed to think of it as no big deal. You're supposed to think about it as next time maybe you should listen to the rules. Whatever. That there's rules for a reason. Whatever. Chase Matthew. It just fell out of my pocket. It's not like I was using it. <sighs> See, this is why Chase is in trouble and we're so frustrated is because he doesn't think it's a big deal. He thinks the punishment is no big deal. Oh, detention's no big deal. And in reality, we want him to feel sorry for what he did. And with his attitude... You don't feel like, it doesn't seem like you regret what you did. If you could go to school tomorrow with your cell phone, would you do the same thing? No, I'd wear pockets with zippers. Chase Matthew. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd put it in my book bag instead and then just turn it all the way off and then it can't fall out anywhere. Well, the thing is, he has not gone to his locker this whole entire school year. Do you even know your locker combination? I don't even know where my locker is. You don't even know where it's at? <laughs> nope. I don't know where it's So, yeah. did you do that last year too? No, last year I went to my locker like two times because I had like social studies books. Oh. Uh, yeah, because with the Chromebooks that they carry around, they don't have as many books. So, 
he just has like a what's it called drawstring bag because they can't have backpacks it has to be a smaller no, bag can't have backpacks now oh you can now yeah oh goodness anyways so next year though freshman year he'll be able to have a backpack bless you bless you so even Blake during the SAT yesterday knew to keep his cell phone in his car. He didn't even bring it into school. But this little guy here. I don't have a car. He's got some lessons to learn. Tough, tough if the life second, moments. If it was the SAT, I wouldn't even have my, I wouldn't even brought it to, to school with But me. there's rules in place for a reason, bud. That's why we're so angry. Anyways, point being... Chase got in trouble today. Carly lost all of her slime today, which I Why? know she told you guys about. Why'd she lose all of her slime? Because she got slime on her carpet, and I warned her and warned her. The next time she got slime on her carpet, the slime was going in the garbage. So it's all gone today. So was today was crying? mean parenting day. No, she didn't cry. That's a surprise. Today was mean, mean parenting day. We're the worst parents ever. I'm sure that's what they're going to tell everybody. I still but. got to, if, if my test would have gotten voided, then I would have been mad, but then I'm, I'm not really mad. Well, you should be mad, and I'm sure as time goes on and you don't have your phone, you will start. I would understand if you got, if my test got voided, I understand that you guys would be mad, but. I Actually, for me, I not wouldn't even care if your test got voided or not, because that would be your own fault, and you would have to redo the test. I wouldn't have to redo your test. What I'm upset about is the fact that the school had a rule and you chose not to follow it. That's what's upsetting to me. Whatever. Okay? No. So, I'm Carly, I believe, already ended the video today. Thank you guys for watching. If you missed yesterday's video, we posted the last egg in the Easter Egg Challenge and told you what you had to do to win our giveaway. So if you missed that video, please go check it out. Make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye!